I don't know if it ever happened to you, but as a young man, I would go out looking for fights on the weekends. And when you'd see the other guy, it was almost like, do you want to dance? You'd see the other guy and you'd both go like, oh, thank God I found you. Tonight, Henry Rollins puts himself through the man test, an interview and psychological questionnaire designed to reveal how masculine or feminine he really is. What kind of man is Henry Rollins? You want to know why? How would you describe yourself as a man? Well, uh, very solitary, and due to a few factors, you know, by choice, by nature of the work I do and the schedule I keep, it just keeps you moving. Uh, I'm always getting ready to go on stage. I'm a man now. I'm okay with myself, and it's good to be here. And so I went and uh, bought a house at age 38 a few months ago. So I walk in, and the place is bare. There's nothing in it. Of course, there's an empty house. And I said, that's it. I'm done moving. I moved the weight set out of the living room of the apartment into the garage of the house, and I was done. Because my concept is the house is going to be one huge dojo. And I'll live on the floor and still be able to keep my edge. So between tours, you know, when I cease to exist, I'll be low to the ground. And people will come over to the house. Hey, Andrea, I heard you bought a house. Yeah. Why, you want to come over? Not that you know me or anything. Who are the people who you do allow to come close? Nobody, really. Why do you think that is? Um, uh, let's see. I, I don't know if I have a real fear of intimacy, but I have probably convinced myself that I don't need it. And also, I'm pretty sure that if someone got really close, there might not be anything there. For the first part of the man test, I'd like you to draw a human figure. It can be anyone you like, and in as much detail as you like. Uh, I'm trying to draw a male. Um, let's see, who is it? See, it's not going to be very expressive, because I just don't have it. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Well, he'll be a mutant. He's been drinking water near a Dow chemical plant. We'll give him seven fingers. <laughs> Since he needs a job at the freak show, this, he'll have, uh, he'll be like the, the crab-handed boy. Club foot. Uh, he has a club foot. The analysis of this drawing emphasizes how childlike it is in many ways. The actual figure is drawn in a childlike way, and the the tiny nose, the tiny features of the, of, of the figure uh, suggest somebody who perhaps when they were young felt very small, was very small, puny even. The image contains signs of damage to the body. So there's a club foot, there are only four fingers on one hand and there are seven on the other, uh, sort of distortions, mutilation. And this could suggest a fear of being damaged on the one hand, but also perhaps a fear of being damaging to others. I was born in uh, Washington, D.C. in 1961. Um, my, I have very early memories of crawling on the floor, that kind of age, whatever that is, too. And re I, re I think I remember my parents being together, but I think they were divorced around that time. And so Monday through Friday, uh, be with mom, go to school, come home, you know, 
eat dinner and all that. And then Saturday morning, Dad comes and picks you up, and you do the two days with Dad. Sunday evening, around dinner time, you're returned to your mom's apartment. Using the one to seven scale in front of you, to what extent are you independent? Um, four. If you had to choose, uh, are you more like your father or more like your mother? More like my father. He was thoroughly intimidating. He would just do stuff that had me shaking. We'd be driving, I'm in the passenger seat, Go. he'd go see some guy in a car, he'd go, roll down your window, which means, oh no, here we go. You roll down the window and sink down into your seat, and he'd, he'd minority bait some guy who he thought cut him off or something. Get behind the Chinese guy, ride the horn all the way, with the high beams on, all the way through the tunnel near DuPont Circle. Thought it was the funniest thing he ever did. That first time he did that, he and I went like 80 light years apart. And um, getting older, you know, his advice on women, he was giving you tips on women way before you needed it. Um, don't ever, let's see, don't ever eat pussy off a girl who has shorter hair than you. <laughs> and I don't know what that means now or what it meant then. Do you prefer to be on top or underneath during sex? Uh, if you had to choose. I'll take anything at this point. If it's female, has a pulse, and will hold still for a minute, I don't care where she puts me. I, I'm not slick around women. Uh, I have a tendency to, to blurt out, to, to ejaculate, like, what a vulva! Sorry, I'm so sorry. Nipples! I, I'm not slick at all. I don't have a like, like, Bond, James Bond. I'm like, wow, you have a lovely crack in your ass! <laughs> Boys, I think, are like assaulted, mugged by puberty, descended, infested by puberty. That's me. I went from human being, hello girl, to ooh, oh, I didn't know what to do. I was like, that's all I wanted. Didn't even know really what I wanted to do, but. How confident were you about sex as a teenager? Uh, let's see. Oh, I, it took a long time to, to have any kind of confidence at all. 17. Do you still find it hard to relate to girls? Yeah. Oh, it gets harder as you get older. Uh, for me, definitely. Because um, when you're an adult, everything's heavy. It's not like, la, 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 la. It's like, hey. You know. And if you go out too long with a woman, or too long, if you go out for a long time with a woman, the ovaries start to speak. Deep down, do you believe that most women want a man to show who's boss? I don't know. From the eight pairs of images in front of you, I would like you to select one image from each pair according to your preference for color, shape, and object. Henry Rollins' selection of pictures suggests the sort of man who is very sexually passionate on the one hand, but on the other is somebody who actually doesn't like to let go too much in bed, likes to keep his instincts under control. It also suggests somebody who likes to keep women at a distance and who does not want sex to rule his life. I'd only had sex one time before I joined Black Flag. The next time I had sex, was with a Susie and the Banshee looking chick in the van parked outside a punk rock squat. And um, so what I learned about women was on the road. I had a girlfriend once for like a month, Just, you know, didn't work. Uh, one for a few months, didn't work. And then one in 85 that went for about uh, like 14 months and maybe 15 months. That is the longest relationship I have ever had with a female. Using the scale, how often do you feel you are understanding? Six, usually. 
Using the scale, to what extent would you describe yourself as being affectionate? Um, four, occasionally. Four times in my life since 1986, I've been really, really into a, a girl. Actually, in love? Yeah. But one time for sure. And people would come up to me, Henry, what are you doing? I'm like, what? You're smiling. I'm like, no, I'm not. You're smiling. You're smiling all the time. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. You're in love, aren't you? I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to throw up. They go, yep. And that was, it was, uh, I think one of the, one of the two most powerful experiences of my life. <laughs>